Hello guys, so today, like the title says, I'm gonna be doing my skincare routine. So, uh, yeah, first I want to tell you guys my skin is mostly, um, I guess, normal to dry skin. But in winter, which is winter right now, it is so dry, like alligator dry. It is so dry and I've been struggling with how to treat my skin right now. But I think I finally found what helps my dry, really, really dry skin. So first, I'm gonna start with the removal of my makeup uh, okay so um i've been using this the bioderma you guys can see yeah. that so this removes your makeup really 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 well it doesn't irritate my eyes at all unless i go like deep deep in my eyes and that's when i would uh have irritation but other than that it's it's this is, works like really really great i think this is for all skin types oh sensitive skin it actually says sensitive skin right there and i know that um they have one with the, the blue and green and i'm not sure what those are for but i think the blue with the blue packaging sort of is for uh like waterproof you know eyeliner or mascara which i don't use waterproof so this is works great for this me this one you could get on beauty beautylish beautylish.com that's the only place that i could get this one the garnier uh, oh, skin active mis mis micellar water I never know how to say that cleansing water this is actually new in the United States I believe because I know they have them in, in the in the UK but now they have them at Walmart at Walmart I've seen it at Target and at CVS I actually bought my CVS which it was a big mistake because it was nine dollars to CVS at Target things is like around six to five dollars uh, it all depends on your target but I actually don't know which one I like better, whether it's this one or this one. This one I've used for a long time, so I definitely love this one. This one I've tried a couple of times, and I actually really like it. But, I mean, for the price, they're pretty much the same thing. But for the price, I will definitely go back, maybe be buying this one more than I would this one, the Bioderma. The lighting is so awful. It's so bright. Now, to cleanse my face, this is another thing that I struggle so much with because I went back to say drugstore or high-end stuff and i finally found i think the perfect cleanser for me and this is the um first day what first first aid beauty skin rescue deep cleanser with red clay it removes excess oils uncleaned pores and purifies safe it's a safe for sensitive skin and this is my biggest thing i have sensitive skin and it took me a while to find that out and i shit enough because everything else that i tried it broke me out so bad and I, okay, wait, I forgot to mention. I do have, uh, uh, my skin is prone to breakouts, especially hormonal breakouts and some random, like this one right here, it does not want to go away. And it's been there for like two months, so go figure. But okay, other than that, this, I've gone through maybe, maybe this is my fifth or fourth and I'm in love with this one. I'm actually running out of this one and I already have one coming in the mouth. But this is really, really good. It's red. It's all nasty and gooey looking. But I actually like the way this one cleanses my skin. And it's not, um, this one says for like breakouts. I guess it removes unclogged pores. But, uh, anything else that I've tried, this is the thing that has worked the best for me. And also for, uh, what is that thing? Exfoliants? That's another thing. I actually tried the same i tried a many of them and my sister was like well hello if you have sensitive skin and you already like this one why don't you go try another thing from the same brand so of course i went and did that and this is uh the light Jeez, i'm using natural light my window and should I just read it for you? This is the Facial Radiance Polish Exfoliates, Brightens, and Purifies. Again, safe for sensitive skin, which I think this is... Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure this brand, um, the First Day Beauty, it's focused a lot more on the sensitive skin than anything else. Now, I'm not sure, but again, this, since I tried it, it has that weird kind of funky smell, but I actually... I love 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 this because it didn't break me out and actually feel like it worked the the beads are really really tiny but i think it's just perfect and sometimes when i try to exfoliate a little bit more i would actually use um this but with this kind of exfoliant thing i got this actually as a for like six dollars and i thought why not you know so whenever i feel like i need to 
scrub my face a little more i will use this so i would just like pump a little pump i guess squish a little bit out squeeze squirt a little bit out then it has this little thing in the bag where you grab it i think you go like this and then you scrub 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 and that's it and then i will go with this one whenever i feel like i need a little bit more like scrubbing facial cleaning kind of situation but that's that for cleaning and after cleaning my face i actually go in with this um the toner which is a chorus pomegranate grenade pomegranate grenade pomegranate toner <laughs> i don't know why i found that so hard to read but this is what that looks this like this helps with the breakouts and i actually like this one i feel like as soon as i started using this one my skin it's made a difference on my skin but then again i'm really bad and it sucks you shouldn't do that but it sucks i'm really bad at taking off my makeup at night although they say that you could just use this thing or like micellar water not especially specifically this one and that should be enough but sometimes i feel like that's not enough but that's usually what i do i just remove it with this one and then go to sleep and that's it which is bad don't do what i do on to my moisturizing situation i have dry skin as i mentioned already but for my skin i've been using this like no other i i know it's a mask this is the little one the glam glow the thirsty mud mask but I use this one a lot more as a moisturizer. When my skin is feeling really, really dry, say in the morning, I'll just, you know, a thin layer. And this will help my skin a lot with all the dry patches and everything that shows, you know, through your makeup. And it's just ugly looking. And I ran out of it and I was like, you know what, I don't think it's, do I really need this? Is it really that amazing? And I've been out of it for like maybe a week and I'm like, oh my God, my skin, like what's going on? So I actually ordered another one. And it's coming in the mail with my cleanser. And I'm so excited because this is gone. Like gone. And now my moisturizer that I recently bought. Maybe two, three days ago. But I actually already saw a difference on it. Is the, again, the from First Day Beauty. And this is a 5-in-1 face, face cream broad spectrum. Can't say that word. SPF 30. And this is a 5-in-1. It says it prevents and reduces wrinkles corrects uneven skin filters uva and uvb rays nourishes and moisturizes and combats free radicals what are free radicals do you guys know if you guys know please again let me know in the comments because i do not know free radicals i should know that right i should google that but this is what that looks like oh the light the light struggling with this light but this is what this looks like it's it has a pump which i actually really like i don't like sticking my fingers into a lot of things i mean i don't know i feel like it's a lot easier and like cleaner i guess just pump it out i pump usually like a pump it's enough for my face and sometimes it's a little bit much it feels kind of not greasy but it immediately makes a difference on your skin it immediately looks a lot more bright i guess you would say but, uh, like I said, I've been using it for only three days, and I've been liking it so far. So, if anything uh, anything changes, I'll let you guys know. But, since I've been, uh, I have hopes. I've been doing good with the first day beauty range that I have already. I have hopes that this is going to be good. And now, from under my eyes, I have to use something under my eyes. Because, I mean, I'm only getting older, not younger. So, But, this is the Origins origins plant scription anti-aging power eye cream and this is kind of cute oh, cute and it's green the packaging and it has a pump again which i love again and again i've tried probably every time that i buy a new eye cream it's a different eye cream but so far the first day i was like whoa i love this the previous one that i have that i had it would actually flake under my eyes which it was weird like after a while i was like why is this coming off like why and this doesn't do that and i feel like it does moisturizes under my moisturize my under eye really well and again i've been using this for maybe maybe two three weeks and so far i like it i'm liking it i'm liking it and now for <clears throat> this is pretty much my everyday this is my skincare routine. This is what I use on a daily basis. And let me see if I have anything else. No, I think that's it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Enjoy this video. And if anything helps you guys from what I what I mentioned, let me know. That would be good to know that you know some of us have the same problem, which is not a cute problem, dry face. But uh, if you guys have any suggestions for any drugstore or any other, you know, 
brands that I should try for my dry skin. Please let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, thank you guys and I'll see you later. Bye!